Yeah. I remember you probably all do too, 11 years ago, watching this young, beautiful woman yeah. you know, sing her way into our hearts. Yeah. You won American Idol. Mm -hmm. How did that change you as a person? I mean, you know, it's, it's really crazy to think of it now because it's been 11 years at this point. And from the person I was then, I, you know, I was a kid in high school. I, did, I didn't know what was going on. I was just excited to be on the show that I loved. And um, now looking back, though, it prepared me for everything that I've had to do now because Idol was, it was like a boot camp for everything that I have to do in this industry. And even at times when I'm not working, there are, there are tools that I learned that I just draw from. So anything after that is a cakewalk, except the national anthem. That always makes me nervous. That's hard, isn't it? Yeah, always. I don't know how anyone does that. Yeah. Give me one tool that you learned from that experience that's allowed you to be successful? I think for me, working best under pressure. Pressure involves lots of different attributes. Yes. But probably the most pressured thing that most people do in their lives is to become a parent. <sighs> yeah. And the world <laughs> watched you become a, a mom for the first time yes. just last year. Yes. And I, I gotta say, it was really cool to experience it from outside, but what was it like for you as a mom? What is life like? Life is awesome. He's so amazing. I'm tired, but he's just... He's just the, that, see, look how little he is. I can't believe, people say that it goes by so fast and it's true, he's five and a half months now. That must have been, you know, three weeks into it with him smiling his little face, but he's- Just wait till he's 20. <laughs> Very different. I, my, my mom was talking to me about myself, and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, mom, please. Right. Um, but it's, it's been incredible. I, I've always loved kids. I've always loved being around them. You know, when we did the video together, like yeah. I love doing those types of things, and I knew if I ever had the opportunity to be a mom, I would love it, and I, I adore it. I love being a mom. Well, you are a wonderful mom. I had the honor of meeting a little DJ. Yes. But you delivered him in a unorthodox way, a way that's done, but it's mm -hmm. not the usual way. Yeah, I actually had an all-natural water birth. I did. Explain and I, that to everybody so they know what that means. So it's an unmedicated birth, and um, I delivered him in a tub in some warm water, and Dana actually caught him. So he was the first person that he saw, and it was, it was definitely crazy. I labored for a while. Um, active labor was, uh, it didn't get difficult until maybe 12 hours in. So I was in regular light labor before, and then active labor didn't get difficult until a while. But took three pushes, and he was here. How long after it became difficult until he actually came out? Uh, about nine hours, I think. Yeah. yeah. So it was still, yeah, for a first time mom, yeah. it's often that long. Mm -hmm. It was still. And you, think it, you think it hurt less because you were underwater? Um, At least your pelvis was underwater. <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, you know, I think a lot of it, again, with the whole pressure thing, I think a lot of it had to do with the mentality I took looking at it. Um, Cause right when I was pregnant, I went to a few different hospitals and I was like, this doesn't feel right to me. I think I want to go natural. I had a midwife, her name is Simona. She was amazing. The entire team was, um, and my doula Nina as well. But- You know, Daphne was delivered by a midwife. Really? My oldest daughter. Yeah. Yes. Hey Daphne, love you girl. <laughs> um, but it was, it was incredible to be able to do it. But I think my mentality, cause I, I looked at it, looked forward to the, the delivery, like this is going to be the most amazing day of my life. And yet it was risky, not because of the water delivery, but because he had a cord around his neck. Yeah, he had his umbilical cord wrapped around his neck twice. Oh, twice? So, yeah. So um, my midwife was there and Dana was right next to her because she obviously was helping him. And he came out and she saw it first and she unwrapped the cord and then let him finish. And so it's just crazy how it happened. Oh my goodness. Insane. Was he gray? He, no, he wasn't actually. Okay, because Daphne was, had yeah. her cord around her neck and yeah. she was completely gray. Oh my my wife thought that she was dead. Oh no. It was the worst feeling. I, I, mean, I, I was a medical student, so I didn't know that much, but I yeah. knew, knew we had a fighting chance. Lisa figured it's over because you don't look that gray and do well, but she right. picked up once she could breathe. Yeah, of course. And she's never absolutely. stopped talking since. Right. I know. Yeah. I know. We had a whole bunch of amazing conversations the other day. They're like, okay, we're filming now. Go on. So how's DJ doing now? He's good. He's good. He actually just started sitting up this week. Oh. He just started sitting up. So here's oh, a clip so of DJ and your husband. Take a look. Handsome. Ooh. Is Ooh. you handsome? Ooh, is that tickle? Is that tickle? Look at him smiling. <laughs> is that tickling? Oh, you can't, you can't get over that smile. It's hard not to be happy when you look at a happy so, baby. So how has the delivery changed your look on life? Now that you've actually gotten through it. The delivery, um, well, listen, all you women out here, we are super women and don't let anybody tell you anything else. It's, in, it's incredible, like, what we can 
handle. And then afterwards, like having to deal with breastfeeding and all those different, the way your, our body works. I just have so much more appreciation for, I've always had appreciation for women and how strong we are, but even more so now, like my mom, my grandma, everybody that I, I, I'm related to, my friends, my aunties, like I look at them in such a different way. I already held them in high regard, but I do even more now. Um, and also my mentality has changed. The way I sing has changed. How so? Um, because it's from such a deeper place when I sing about love. It's just, it's different. Um, I sing about love and I have my husband and I love him so much, but now there's that agape love that yes. both of us have for him that it just comes from that place. So when your son looks back on your singing when he's an adult, what do you want him to see? Um, I would love for him to see that I was, I was, what I wanted to come across was songs that helped people feel something um, that would touch them or bring them to a place or a memory that mattered to them. And that's what I hope. I'm sure he'll say something else about some of the fun ones. Be like, why'd you sing about that? And I'll be like, it's, shh, it's okay. It's, you get that next year. We don't year. talk about it. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on new videos to live the good life.